give us a peek into your world by giving us your playlist, Vars playlist of pieces, people, events, things that we should know. Just five, top five things that would be on your playlist if someone wants a peek into the world of poetry or into the world of Hadara's artistic world. What are five things that you can't let this episode end without sharing? Oh my God. <laughs> that question's so big, but I'm really excited about it. Um, so I would think, and maybe I'll, I'll throw in some Kansas City as well. Ooh, I think okay. the Nelson Atkins is has been such a great support to me in terms of survival and um, exchange. I have, it's recently reopened. I have two or three times um, gone there now. You, it's their timed appointments and it's been very mellow. Um, I've been able to space out very easily as like social distancing. And I would say, you know, the Mark Rothko there and the Louise Nevelson there are personal friends of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited when I went back to the museum. I, I, I didn't cry, but I almost felt like I was going to weep, um, missing that, that connectivity. So I, I want to give a shout out to the Nelson. Yes. Um, uh, and then I guess there are books that I'm reading that I'm absolutely in love with. And thankfully I get to teach them. Um, my class just studied um, Molly McCulley Brown, um, wonderful poet, Natalie Diaz. Uh, we're reading, um, well, Emily Skaja, we read Saeed Jones um, and Benjamin Garcia. Um, I'm so honored that all of them, except for one, one poet who I wasn't able to connect with, are actually coming to my classes and zooming in for 30 minutes to talk to my students. That's been really exciting. Um, I feel like I probably need to mention um, the Beatles, uh, <laughs> the Velvet Underground, and Courtney Barnett. I, I guess just the, my students, um, how much they how much they feed me. And um, especially in these times, um, here's something really cheesy for you. Um, so I've had, I'm, I'm teaching this advanced poetry workshop that meets one night a week and, for three hours. And for some reason at the end of each night, and I've never done this before, I thank my class. And, I'm, I, and I, I make fun of myself and then I do it. <laughs> I'm so glad to be there with them. Um, it's amazing, it, you know. I'm. I'm. I also need this in this moment, and I'm. I'm grateful for their attention and energy and insights, and how amazingly willing they are to to share, and make that space an intimate electrical space. 